Eric Tinhag transformed Scott McTominay absolutely dazzles on international duty. Scott McTominay was the star of the show as Scotland won 3-0 against Ukraine in the UEFA Nations League on Wednesday night. After Ukraine ended their hopes of reaching the World Cup in the summer, Scotland were fired up for their Nations League clash as they produced a spirited display. Hampton Park erupted as John Magin put the host 1-0 up after 70 minutes. A brace from Lyndon Dykes in the last 10 minutes secured a 3-0 win for Steve Clark's side. Magin and Dykes might have been the scorers, but it was McTominay who really shone as he dominated the middle of the park with a commanding display. The Manchester United's man individual highlights against Ukraine were a joy to watch he often dispossessed his opponents to set his team on the attack. On the ball, he was often criticized for passing sideways and backwards, but against Ukraine the 25-year-old often looked forward to play the killer pass. Many thought that McTominay would have to settle for a place on the United bench after the arrival of Casemiro in the summer. However, it has been Casemiro who's been the onlooker as a substitute as Eric Ten Hag chose to stick with McTominay after a string of impressive performances during United's upturn in form. Often criticized by fans when things go wrong, McTominay has proved to the Old Trafford faithful that he is more than capable of doing the job for the team in the middle of the park. Fans reacted on social media after McTominay's impressive display. One fan said, McTominay has redefined totally under Eric Ten Hag. Another tweeted, this is why Casemiro will start on bench. A third fan added, improved so much since we signed Casemiro, just needed competition to reach this new level. Another United fan said, he has been in form all season, so happy for him. McTominay will hope to continue his fine form during the international break in order to cement his place in Ten Hag's plans for the season. Up next for United will be the small matter of a Manchester Derby against champions, City. In other news, Manchester United decision makes Eric Ten Hag's thoughts on Anthony Alanga crystal clear. Manchester United could have sent Anthony Alanga out on loan but, despite having a host of attacking options, Eric Ten Hag is determined to keep the youngster at Old Trafford. Effort. It says everything about Anthony Alanga's standing at Manchester United that Eric Ten Hag refused to let him go out on loan. Despite signing Anthony for £85.5 million, and with Jadon Sancho and Marcus Rashford back in form, Ten Hag considered Alanga too important to be allowed to be loaned out. Despite an inquiry from Leicester, Alanga has featured in all but one of Ten Hag's eight games in charge of United. The winger's talent and progress recognized with his inclusion on the 40-player shortlist for Tata Sport's prestigious goal. Golden Boy Award. Former winners include Lionel Messi, Kylian Mbappé, Wayne Rooney, Sergio Agro, Paul Pogba, Raheem Sterling, and Erling Haaland, with eight of the 19 awarded the accolade having played in Manchester for United or City. With such a stellar list of past winners, whoever picks up the accolade can bank on a glittering career at the very top of the game, which is where Sweden international Alanga seems destined to be. Also on the shortlist, reduced to 20 names next month, are Liverpool duo Harvey Elliott and Fabio Carvalho, England and Borussia Dortmund midfielder Jude Bellingham and Arsenal forward Mark Quinhos. Alanga was handed his United debut by former boss Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, but it was interim coach Ralf Rangnick who gave the 21-year-old a sustained run in the side after taking over from the Norwegian. Like Ten Hag, Rangnick was so impressed with Alanga, he refused to let him go out on loan, which was the plan, to allow the winger to play regularly and develop. During his first few days in charge at United, Rangnick spent hours in his Manchester hotel suite watching videos of his new players in action and getting up to speed. One player in particular caught his eye, with Alanga impressing him so much in the clips he viewed that he instructed the club to halt any moves to loan him out. From the very first day of my first training session, he showed up, said Rangnick. I'd heard his name before and I was in my hotel room watching videos of him on YouTube and I thought this boy is really good. He was almost on his way out on loan. I told him you will not go, you will stay here and he's developed in training. The Langer responded with three goals and two assists, and while he has yet to open his account this season, he has impressed Ten Hag with the feeling mutual. If you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.